Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi was a Muslim mathematician, astronomer and geographer. Nicknamed Abu Jafar, it was said that he was born around 164 AH 781 AD, and it was said that he died after 232 AH, after 847 AD. He is considered one of the first Muslim mathematicians, as his works contributed greatly to the advancement of mathematics in his time. He contacted the Abbasid Caliph Al-Mamun and worked in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad and gained the trust of the Caliph, as Al-Mamun appointed him the House of Wisdom and entrusted him with drawing a map of the land on which more than 70 geographers worked. Before his death in 850 AD, 232 uh, Al-Khwarizmi had left many books in the sciences of mathematics, astronomy and geography, the most important of which is the book Al-Muqtasar fi Hisab al-Jabr and Al-Muqabalah, which is considered the most important writer. The book was translated into Latin by the scholar Robert of Chester from the year 1145 A. The, as a result, new words such as algebra and zero entered the Latin languages and were translated shortly thereafter by Gerardo of Cremona, who lives in Toledo, followed by a third translation by the Italian Guillaume Thaluna. Robert of Chester's translation of the main textbook on mathematics was used until the 16th century, European universities. al khwarizmis books included the Book of Collection and Separation in the Indian Calculation, the Book of Drawing the Quarter of the Globe, the Book of Calendar of Countries, the Book of Working with the Astrolabe, and the Book The Image of the Earth in which he relied on the Book of Ptolemy's Almagest with additions, explanations and comments, and rewrote the Book of Indian Astronomy known as al sind Hind al kabir which was translated into Arabic at the time of Caliph al-Mansur, so al khwarizmi rewrote it and added to it, and called his book al sind Hind al sagir In the book Al-Muqtasar fi Kalab al-Jabr wa al-Muqabalah, he presented the first systematic solution to linear and quadratic equations, using the method known as completing the square. He is considered the founder of algebra, a title he shares with Diophantus in the 12th century, and Latin translations of his account on Indian numerals, the decimal system, were introduced to the Western world. al khwarizmi revised Claudius Ptolemy's geography and wrote on astronomy and astrology. His contributions had a great influence on language. Algebra is one of the two operations you use to solve quadratic equations, in English, the word algorithm and algorithm derive from algorithmi, the Latin form of his name. His name is the origin of the Spanish word garismo and the Portuguese algorismo, which both mean number. His family moved from the city of Khorasan in the Islamic region of Khorasan, which is called Kiwa in the present era, in the Republic of Uzbekistan, to Baghdad. Al-Khwarizmi completed most of his research between the years 813 AD and 833 AD in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, which was founded by the Caliph Al-Mamun, where Al-Mamun appointed him at the head of his book treasury, and entrusted him with collecting and translating Greek books. Al-Khwarizmi benefited from the books that were available in Al-Mamun's treasury, so he studied mathematics, geography, astronomy, and history in addition to acquainting him with Greek and Indian knowledge. He published all his works in Arabic, which was the language of science at that time. Al-Tabari names him in his history, Muhammad bin Musa al-Khwarizmi of Qatrabuli, after the village of Qatrabal on the outskirts of Baghdad. Al-Khwarizmi began his book, Algebra and Al-Muqabala, with the Basmala, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Although historical sources and scientific encyclopedias do not agree on his identity, the Encyclopedia Britannica, Children's Edition, the Microsoft Encarta Encyclopedia, and the Columbia University Encyclopedia say that he is an Arab, while other sources mention that he is Persian or Turkish. In the general edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica, he was mentioned as a Muslim scholar without specifying his nationality, and in Ibn al Nadim's book Al Firist, there is a short biography of Al Khwarizmi, with a list of books he wrote. Al Khwarizmi completed most of his works between the years 813 and 833. After the Islamic conquest of Persia, Baghdad became the center of scientific and commercial studies, and many merchants and scholars came to it from faraway regions such as China and India, as Al Khwarizmi did. He was working in Baghdad, as a researcher in the House of Wisdom established by the Caliph al Mamun, where he studied science and mathematics which included translating Greek and Sanskrit scientific manuscripts and others.
El Khwarizmi contributed to mathematics, geography, astronomy, and cartography, and laid the foundation for innovation in algebra and trigonometry. His methodical approach to solving linear and quadratic equations led to algebra, a word derived from the title of his book on the subject, al Kasar fi Hisab al jabr wa al muqabala Book of Collection and Separation with the Account of India in the year 825 AD, where he was mainly responsible for spreading the Indian numbering system throughout the Middle East and Europe. The word, charism, was translated into Latin as algorithmi de numero indorum. From his surname al Khwarizmi, where the Latin word algorithmi came from, which led to the popularization of the term algorithm. al Khwarizmi organized and corrected Ptolemy's data on Africa and the Middle East. One of his main books is Surat al-Ard, in which he presents the coordinates of places based on Ptolemy's geography but with improved values for the Mediterranean, Asia and Africa. He also wrote about astronomical devices such as the astrolabe and the sundial. He helped in a project to determine the circumference of the Earth, and in making a map of the world during the reign of the Abbasid Caliph al-Mamun, when he was asked to do so, and supervised 70 geographers. In the 12th century his work spread in Europe, through Latin translations, which had a great influence on the progress of mathematics in Europe. Al-Kitab al-Muqafala, the brief book on calculating algebra and al-Muqabala, is a mathematical textbook written around the year 830 AD. The term algebra is derived from the name of one of the basic operations with equations described in this book. The book was translated into Latin under the name Liber Algebrae Almacabala by Robert of Chester, Segovia, 1145, and also by Gerard of Cremona. There is a unique Arabic copy preserved in Oxford, translated in 1831 by F. Rosen. A Latin translation is preserved at Cambridge. Algebra is the foundational text of modern algebra. He presented a comprehensive statement for solving polynomial equations up to the second degree, and presented basic methods for reduction and balance in reference to transferring the terms presented to the other side of the equation, i, e, cancelling the similar terms on both sides of the equation. The above discussion uses modern mathematical notation for the types of problems the book discusses. However, in al Khwarizmi's day, most of this notation had not yet been invented, so he had to use plain text to present problems and their solutions. For example, he writes for one problem, from an 1831 translation. al Khwarizmi's third major work is The Image of the Earth. He finished writing it in 833 AE. This book is a revised and complete edition of Claudius Ptolemy's Geography. This work consists of a list of 2,402 occurrences of cities and other geographical features following the general introduction. There is only one extant copy of the image of the Earth, preserved in the Strasbourg University Library. The Latin translation is preserved in the National Library of Spain in Madrid. The full title of the book is The Book of the Image of the Earth from Cities, Mountains, Seas, Islands, and Rivers, extracted by Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi from Geography, which was written by Ptolemy al Khaluthi, and Hans von Muhak took care of copying and correcting it. The book opens with a list of latitudes and longitudes, in order of weather zones, I, E, in latitude zones, in each weather zone, in order of longitude. As Paul Galese points out, this excellent system allows us to deduce so many latitudes and longitudes that the only document in our possession is in such poor condition that it is virtually illegible. Neither the Arabic version nor the Latin translation version includes the world map itself, but Hubert Danch was able to reconstruct the missing map from the list of coordinates. Dane SHT reads the coastal latitudes and longitudes of the points given in the manuscript, or arrives at them in terms of unreadable context. He transferred the points onto graph paper and connected them with straight lines, obtaining an approximation of the coastline as it was on the original map. Then do the same thing for rivers and cities. al Khwarizmi corrected Ptolemy's total exaggeration for the duration of the Mediterranean, from the Canary Islands to the eastern shores of the Mediterranean, Ptolemy exaggerated the 63 degrees of longitude, while al Khwarizmi is almost correct that he was at least about 50 degrees of longitude. He also described the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean as open bodies of water, not seas enclosed by the coast, as Ptolemy did. 
Al Khwarizmi thus located the prime meridian of the ancient world on the eastern shore of the Mediterranean, 10 to 13 degrees east of Alexandria, the earlier prime meridian set by Claudius Ptolemy, and 70 degrees west of Baghdad. Most medieval Muslim geographers continue to use Al Khwarizmi's prime meridian. Al Khwarizmi wrote many other works, including a treatise on the Hebrew calendar, titled Risala fi Extract Tariq al Yahud, Extraction of the Jewish Age. It describes the Metonic cycle, which extends for 19 years, and the rules for determining which day of the week will be the first day of the month of Tishrei, calculates the interval between World Day and the Seleucid era, and gives rules for determining the mean longitude of the sun and moon using the Hebrew calendar. Similar material is found in the works of Al Burini and Maimonides. Al Khwarizmi's second achievement was in arithmetic. A Latin translation of it now exists, but the original Arabic version has been lost. It was probably translated in the 12th century by Adelard of Bath, who also translated the astronomical tables in 1126. The Latin manuscripts are untitled, but are referred to by the first two words that begin with them, Dixit Algorizmi, so said Al Khwarizmi, or Algorithmide Numero Indorum, Al Khwarizmi's Indian Art of Arithmetic the name given to the work by Baldassari Bancampani in 1857. Original title Arabic may have been, 46, the book of addition and subtraction according to Indian arithmetic. Al Khwarizmi's arithmetic work is credited with introducing Arabic numerals based on the Indo-Arabic numbering system developed in Indian mathematics that contains the decimal system, to the Western world. The term algorithm derives from algorithm, the method of arithmetic in Indian and Arabic numerals developed by Al Khwarizmi. Both the words algorithm and algorithm derive from the Latin forms of Al Khwarizmi's name algorithmi and algorithmi, respectively. He has dealt with algebraic topics independent of number theory and arithmetic topics as well. He was the first to introduce zero into the numbers to be the natural numbers, as the counting system was based on an old method without a zero and by introducing the zero system, the arithmetic turned into the well-known decimal system in addition and subtraction, which was later used in Europe and around the world by translating his manuscripts into Latin. Al Khwarizmi's Zig Sindhind also contains tables of sine and cosine trigonometric functions. A related treatise on spherical trigonometry is also attributed to him. Al Khwarizmi produced accurate value conversion lists for the sine and cosine functions, and he also produced a list of values for the tangent function that is considered the first of its kind. Zij al Zendhind is a work consisting of about 37 chapters on astrological and almanac calculations and 116 tables related to calendar, astronomical and astronomical data, as well as a table of sine values. This is the first of many Arab marriages based on the Indian astrological methods known as the Sin Hind. The work contained tables of the movements of the sun, moon and five planets known at the time. Such a turning point in the work of Islamic astronomy. Until now, Muslim astronomers have relied on a preliminary research method, which is to translate the work of others, and to learn the knowledge already discovered. Al Khwarizmi's work represented the beginning of an unconventional method of study and calculations. The original Arabic version, written 820, is lost, but the Latin translation, written by Adelard of Bath, January 26, 1126, was saved by the Andalusian astronomer Maislam at Ibn Ahmad al-Madridi, c. 1000. The four surviving manuscripts of the Latin translation are held in the public library, at Chartres, the Mazarin Library in Paris, the Bibliotheca Nacional in Madrid, and the Bodleian Library in Oxford. Al Khwarizmi made several important improvements to the theory and construction of sundials, which he inherited from the Indian and Greek civilizations. And making schedules for these machines that shortened the time needed to make certain calculations. His sundial was universal, and it could be observed from anywhere on earth. Since then, sundials have been frequently placed in mosques to determine the time of prayer. The tangent box is a device also invented by Al Khwarizmi in the 9th century in Baghdad and used to determine the linear height of an object, in combination with styles for angular notes. Al Khwarizmi also invented the first quadrant instrument and an instrument for measuring height in Baghdad in the 9th century AD. 
Al Khwarizmi also invented the quadrant instrument that was used for astronomical calculations. He also invented the first thermal quadrant to determine a latitude, in Baghdad, then the quadrant development center. It was used to determine the time, especially prayer times, by observing the sun or the stars. The quadrant was a universal tool, an innovative mathematical tool invented by Al Khwarizmi in the 9th century and later known as the Old Quadrant, in Europe in the 13th century. It can be used at any latitude on Earth and at any time of the year to determine the time and hours of elevation from the Sun. It was the second most widely used astronomical instrument during the Middle Ages after the astrolabe. One of its main uses in the Islamic world is to determine prayer times.